Hey everyone, talking about perfume oils versus regular perfume sprays in terms of the differences between them and kind of when it's best to use either or. So in terms of the differences, and for example, I have some that come in both. This is Lovesick Witchery Hocus Pocus. This comes in, yeah, the rollerball oil and also like a spray. There's like the body mist version, eau de parfum, different kinds of sprays, but so I've done definitely ones where I've directly compared the exact same scent. And what I found typically is they end up smelling the same. So I haven't had any issues where it's like, oh, I love this in one format and it smells different. But there are just some situations where some are better than others. The perfume oil is a lot thicker. Uh, the spray, even if it's usually like an x or eau de parfum or whatever, is going to be a lot, you know, lighter and kind of dispersed, obviously. And it's not that, you know, sometimes there are really kind of like thick, almost oily sprays, but it's still not usually the same extent that it would be when it's literally an oil. And uh, yeah, so when to use the perfume oil over the spray. One, when you want to apply it very specifically. So if you're spraying something that can, that's just going to kind of disperse all over, obviously it's sort of getting to the general location that you want, hopefully, um, especially if you're spraying from pretty up close. But when you say that you know, like, okay, I want this on my wrist, like that's where I want it right now. If I was to point this and spray like this, it's getting, you know, other places too and stuff like that versus if I'm using this and just literally putting it exactly on there, you have a lot more control in terms of also if that could apply to your neck, to your arms, even just like, you know, anywhere that you want to put it. Uh, two, when you don't want to get it on your clothes. So say that you're wearing some like some rented fancy outfit or borrowing somebody's or just for whatever reason, like you don't want it on your clothes. That's very difficult to control with the spray. Even if you think you're spraying in a way that it shouldn't get on there, it's still obviously sometimes just happens in the air and whatnot. And that can definitely still happen from an oil, especially if you have it on you and then you're like, you know, just like it, it can happen, but it's a lot less likely to happen than if it's like you're spraying and it's directly on there already. Next, if you're in a situation where a strong fragrance could be an issue, for example, say that you're going to be in a kind of crowd in really close quarters or in a car with somebody or something like that, then it's not that, uh, you know, perfume oils automatically have bad projection or something like that, but you are able to control that a lot more versus again with the spray, it's going to tend to be a bit more kind of intimate and within closer to your scent bubble and you can just have more control over how far it's kind of going to go by playing with that a little bit more precisely. Next, when you're in a place where noticeably spraying something could be awkward, for example, you could be at school, you could be in a workplace, uh, whether that's an office or someplace outside or like wherever it is, in a car with somebody, yeah, like anything, where there's a lot of situations actually where if you suddenly just like, shh, like that, I think most people would kind of be like, wait, what? Like not even about it smelling bad necessarily, but just if someone right next to you sprays like, you know, perfume, cologne, whatever on themselves at work and they're, you're like elbow to elbow with them or something, it's just kind of like, what are you doing? Like that would be a little bit weird. So it would, that's a great opportunity where you can just kind of discreetly pull it out and apply it. Also, you know, for example, say that you started with a spray and then you're in a situation where it's kind of the longevity's run out, whatever it is, and then you want more, discreetly applying the rollerball to, uh, or the perfume oil to make it last uh, longer can definitely help with that. Next, when the person or people that you live with don't like the smell, for example, there are some of my fragrances that my wife definitely does not like. And it's one thing if it were just to be like, okay, well, I'm going to spray it before leaving the house or something where she's not really going to be around me necessarily to smell it. But some of them are so strong that even if I'm just like spraying it, she can like smell it, you know, in the room and stuff like that. And it's like, she's not going to be happy. It's a downer if someone's like, Ugh, you know, when you're putting on a fragrance or something like that. So that can be a good one too. Yeah. Like when you otherwise would be doing it in a room where somebody else you live with or something is going to smell it or just anything could not go well with that if you know they don't like it. And I've done that with certain ones where I used like a perfume oil version or something like that and it didn't get a negative comment because it wasn't lasting after I left the apartment. And uh, another one kind of when you're staying in, so sort of the opposite of that one, but because at least for me, I know like I don't want one that's going to have the biggest projection ever. Like if you're just chilling at home on the couch or something like that, say you're eating or something, that's actually distracting. It can just be like too much and you go nose blind to it. You can't, you know, your nose gets so used to it that within that moment, you just can't really smell it or notice it anymore. So when you're just kind of staying in and just going to be in like a really chill situation, not doing much, I personally like to use like a perfume oil rollerball for that type of situation. 
And uh, next, when you don't like the opening of something. So for me, usually if I don't like the opening, that's just a deal breaker and it's not full bottle worthy for me. But a lot of people, that's not the case and they're fine with, you know, give it whatever many minutes and it'll get to the dry down and it's beautiful or whatever. So if that's the case for you, it's not that, you know, you won't still get some of the opening from the perfume oil, obviously, but you have a lot more control of like, kind of not, if you're spraying it, you're immediately getting that right in the air without even smelling anything and just like all over. If it's applied more precisely with the perfume oil, then you can kind of wait and sort of smell it a bit more when you're feeling it and skip past the kind of not so appealing opening. And uh, lastly for this one, when that's the only form it comes in, and that's usually only going to be the case with indie fragrance houses. I don't think I've ever seen that with designer or niche where the only form that you can get it in is perfume oil or rollerball, but that is very, very common for a lot of uh, indie fragrance houses. So yeah, next as for when to use spray versions, one, when you want something with massive projection. And that, again, that's not to say, I'm making it sound like the perfume oils have just like pathetic projection. That's not always the case. But when you specifically know, like you really want something with major, major projection, I would choose the spray version if it's possible. Uh, two, when you want to apply it on your clothes, that's probably one of the single biggest reasons for me when I reach for a spray. That's why, because yeah, I'm not just going to like, you know, just put a rollerball over my shirt or whatever. And I like to spray on my shirt, especially because I don't really do my neck anymore. I like to do like the shirt right up here for that area. So that's a big one for sure. Like when you want it to be on your clothes. Another one for when to use a spray. When you want to be kind of covered in a cloud of it rather than just have it on specific pulse points. Some people like to have it on specific pulse points where it's like then kind of projecting a little bit more from those areas and you have some control. And some people just want to feel like they're just like immersed in a cloud of it. If the latter is you, then spray is going to be better for that type of situation. Next, when you're going out. So that doesn't mean, to, as with all of these, that like you should only wear this. It's all up to you and what works best for you. But I do find like with this exact example, yeah, if I'm staying home, I like to use this or like at night, I'm going to go to bed soon or something like that. If I'm going out, then I will wear this usually unless I'm going to be in some place like one of the aforementioned situations where I'm going to be like really, really close to people who might not want some spray around them or something like that in terms for like a long duration of time or something like that. But yeah, when you're going out, I think it's better to use the spray oftentimes. And of course, as with the perfume oil, when it's the only form that it comes in, which is more often than not going to be the case with stuff like, yeah, designer and niche but there are times where you'll be able to get options for both. Now there's one major one that comes to mind for like, it's gonna be very personal to depend on whether, which one is better, but for ergonomic reasons, some people have physical issues that make it harder to do certain tasks. And one of those could be related to like pushing down the sprayer. Another might be for like doing that kind of motion to twist it off. There's ways to work around that stuff too and just kind of have it so you can grab what works best for you. Obviously this is not common, but there are a lot of people out there with various forms of disabilities and that can be something that could play into consideration and it could be the difference between someone feeling like they can't wear a fragrance because they can't, don't have the you know ability to do certain things to apply it versus if they can. So, or maybe like I have tendonitis in carpal tunnel and I know for me there are certain atomizers, especially if I'm doing more than one spray that actually really hurt because they require so much pressure to do. So yeah, there can be ergonomic reasons why one is better than the other. But ultimately I would encourage anyone to, if you have a scent that you like that comes in both and you can afford to get like at least a little thing of both, to really kind of play around and see what works best for you. Because I used to think like, I don't want a rollerball, like I just want the spray, whatever. Like, But after actually trying it, it was just kind of like, oh no, there actually are some benefits in times where I absolutely do want to use a perfume oil versus just like a spray. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it comes down to for me. Um, if you have a preference between the perfume oil and spray or anything else, uh, let me know.